Well, I think, you know, with Hulk, we had, um, uh, th there were some really great decisions that Joss had made um, early on in the process. Um, he felt like it was very important to incorporate Mark Ruffalo into the design of the Hulk. And um, we really took that to its kind of logical conclusion in that Mark was so great working with us um, and we captured an, an amazing amount of data from him in terms of um, pore detail, skin detail, um, you know, tons of photographs and light stage and life cast and all that. Um, we even took a dental mold of his teeth and used that to make his digital double and then re-sculpted those teeth to be kind of a larger size version for the Hulk. So um, on, a, on a, the look front, it very much was driven by um, this you know, great design that, that uh, Marvel had come up with as far as incorporating characteristics of, of uh, Mark Ruffalo into the Hulk and then us using you know, all his real data um, to create his skin and his hair and uh, everything that, that kind of built up from there. Um, the other thing that I think worked really well about this Hulk is that he's, um, he's, he's big, you know, we spent a lot of time working on the, the skin textures, uh, working on the hair, um, getting, you know, the right um, mixture of, you know, a little bit of graying in the temples and things, all the stuff that kind of comes from Mark Ruffalo. Um, I think made a big difference in terms of putting it all together. But also, he's he's a he's a big guy, but he's not muscular all the time. Like when when he's kind of at a relaxed state, he is a little soft. He's just wanted more of a wrestler physique, and I think in the end that that gives us a lot more to play with as far as doing you know flesh simulation and adding a little bit of jiggle. And you know we'd always make sure he didn't look fat, but we certainly um, utilized that. Um, physique and and that when he did start jumping around and when he was you know smashing aliens that we could really flex his muscles to get a lot of definition there it was kind of a combination of Maya and proprietary um, all the rigging and the muscle system was built by John Doublestein inside of Maya and um, the the muscles essentially uh, acted as groups to do volume preservation um, and then there were also sculpt deformers under the skin for very hard edge you know things like elbows and where you wanted that kind of skin slide but um, th they would the muscles in combination with the, our pose based deformer system which was essentially a series of shapes shape correctives based on you know if his arm is up and his shoulders down or his arm is down and his arm is twisted um, we'd have corrective for each of those different poses. Um, and so all of that then fed into uh, our tetrahedral mesh system. And that uh, allows us to kind of sim simulate skin jiggle. And um, it was, we ran a pass first that gave us kind of the large ballistics in his skin. And then that in turn would drive a claw simulation and a very thin walled, super high resolution um, flesh mesh in, in terms of getting this, this small, subtle skin slide and wrinkling, you know, as, as your skin, um, like if you've got your arms over your head, things like that. Um, the, on top of that, we also built Hulk with the, probably just an incredible amount of resolution. I mean, if you look at the wireframe, it's essentially, you can't see through it. Um, and the reason we did that was so that we could get into any shot and if we needed to model in a wrinkle or a fold or you know, pop, pop his uh, platysmas on the side of the neck, it wasn't a big deal. It started with a really great design by Ryan Minerding and Charlie Wen at Marvel. And um, they, they then uh, sculpted a maquette with Legacy. Um, so we had that as a great basis to start from. Uh, what was challenging was then, you know, for our pipeline, we need to get him back into a T-pose and making sure that the proportions still work, especially once you start animating him. Um, that really changes your perception of the relationship of the head to the arms to the feet. And, you know, we get into a shot and like his arms would look way too long. Um, so our, our rig was, you know, fully scalable on that front. Um, but uh, they, they, they did a really great job um, of incorporating... Um, you know, some classic sort of Kirby Hulk features, especially the, the long upper lip, you know, and um, at the, while at the same time uh, uh, bringing some great um, Ruffalo features into it, especially around the eyes. And I think by having his eyes and Mark's eyes so similar, um, it, it helps everybody buy the character more.